The latest TWAB has just released, and with it information on Guardian Games 2022, which returns again next week on May 3rd. In this video, let's break down everything you need to know, from the new rewards and armor, to new strike scoring, torches, and weapons. Let's get right into it. The last time we did this, my Titans achieved what can only be described as a blowout. The battle lines have been drawn. Now we will see fireworks. This is amazing! Yes! Use the large gun! Break them! Welcome on in Guardians, hope you're having a great day, and let's break down this TWAB. So Guardian Games 2022 begins next week at reset. It goes from May 3rd and lasts until May 24th. If you've played Destiny before, this event is essentially the same as the previous years when it comes to the concept, but new changes, rewards, and content have been added. Bungie says the overall structure for Guardian Games is designed to focus on skill level, meaning that higher scores are achieved by taking on tougher activities, defeating enemies, staying alive, and completing an activity in a timely manner. Guardian Games is an event all about the three classes of Destiny competing against each other, Titans, Warlocks, and Hunters. The way you compete is by playing certain activities to get these medals, and then you bank these medals at the tower. At the end of each day, a certain class will win, and overall, after the event is complete, whoever has the most medals on the podium here wins the event. So let's talk about these medallions. Last year we had bronze, silver, gold, and platinum, and it looks like it's going to be the same this year. To get the lower tier medallions, which are important too, you should drop into activities like Gambit, Vanguard Strikes, Quick Play Crucible, and other Throne World activities, which are standard difficulty levels. If you're looking for the mid-tier gold medals, they can be earned by completing contender cards in easier activities. So here's an example of a contender card from last year, complete contender cards for gold, and if you want platinum, you have to complete the platinum cards at tougher difficulties. That'll be earned in content like raids, dungeons, competitive PvP, which is trials and survival, and the new seasonal activity, the PsyOps Battlegrounds. Something new this year though is strike scoring and strike medals. They say, strike scoring is new, which factors in playtime only for Guardian Games playlists. Additionally, we've got strike medals, which are designed to reward players for pulling off some pretty impressive feats, like taking out a ton of enemies with a fancy little combat jig like Shatter. In the TWAB, they say there are two playlists right under this section, so I'm guessing it's going to be for the strikes. One of these is training, and the other is competitive. And apparently these playlists have their own days which you want to rotate and play them on. For example, training you want to play Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. This playlist is a place where you can learn to practice scores, the combined score of your entire fire team that is. On Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday you want to jump into the competitive playlist where it's time to get sweaty and this is where you'll earn some of those exciting rewards. Along the way, players can earn buffs in the recreational training and competitive playlist by banking bronze, silver, gold, or platinum medallions. These will last until the next weekly reset, and you can use these buffs in regular Vanguard Ops playlists as well. Also new this year, you'll be able to light torches. They say lighting bronze, silver, gold, and platinum torches grants rewards and a glow that can be seen on the right shoulder of the Guardian's armor. Lighting the torch is monumental when it comes to the Guardian Games experience, and we want Guardians and Destiny 2 to feel that significance in-game. For any personal medallion deposits, there's some more glow action on the way with an accompanying left shoulder glow as well. Any progress is an accomplishment, and we want you to feel proud of the time you put in. Here's a look at the three new armor sets for the various classes.
The weapon this year is a brand new SMG labeled as a Hotkey Void SMG for the energy slot that is an aggressive frame with a unique origin perk. That perk is Classy Contender, which grants class ability energy with final blows from this weapon. It is a wide range of perks that can roll with the weapon, and players will have many opportunities to earn fully masterwork drops with double perks in both the third and fourth columns. Also returning this year, you'll be able to earn class items and the Air Apparent Catalyst is returning, so for those of you that don't have it, you can jump into the games and get it for yourself. One of the last rewards we got here, if you score in the top 10% at the end of the entire event, you can earn this brand new emblem. So how is the scoring going to work? Some people are like, oh man, this is just rigged, hunters are always winning, and the warlocks never have a chance. They say, last year's games included a 10% catch-up buff that allowed for each class to have a fighting chance, regardless of how many players are in that class pool. This was to encourage players to feel like they have equal footing regarding the competition, and it seemed to work out pretty well in the end. But there is always room to make improvements. So this year, each team's score multiplier will start on whatever value they ended on during last year's festivities. Titans, having placed third the most days, will have the largest boost. Warlocks, with the second most days in third place, will get a moderate boost, and Hunters, having placed third with the least number of times, will get the smallest boost. A little added bonus includes a minor 4% bump to their multiplier for each class in second place, with a 10% bump to those in third place. Also going down this year is something called the Guardian Games Cup, which isn't in-game but rather an out-of-game community event. This lasts the same duration May 3rd to the 24th and will involve some of your favorite streamers teaming up around the world to compete for which class is the best. The top team will earn some custom digital art and there's also some incredible incentive to donate towards some charities like Direct Relief. But Guardians, there you have it. That is a quick roundup, hopefully quick roundup, of everything you need to know about the Guardian games. Once you see the trailer and jump into the game, it might be a little easier to understand rather than just seeing the text or hearing me speak about it, but I hope this helped you in some way. If you'd like to see some other Destiny lore and mysteries just like this video, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you Guardians in the next one.